media civilization, 9-11, self-inflicted or terrible terrorism? September 11, 2001. It became one of those days that people will refer to and talk of as one of America's worst days. More than 2,000 people died when proto-perpetrators boarded four banks of commercial airplanes and crashed them into the WTC Twin Towers, the outer of the Pentagon building and a field in Pennsylvania. The government's explanation of the events placed this dreadful act in the hands of Al-Qaeda terrorists, leading to the U.S. war on terror. But for some, questions remain. Was it a terrorist attack, or was there a hidden cover to it? It could have also raised government complicity question. Section 1. The Official Explanation As stated under the official narrative on that morning, 19 terrorists of the Al-Qaeda staged a hijacking of four planes. The North and the South Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City were hit by two airplanes. A fourth plane struck the Pentagon and the fourth flight, United Airlines Flight 93, crashed in Pennsylvania after passengers waged an attack to gain back control of the plane. In a very short while, the U.S. government immediately pointed to Al-Qaeda and its leader Osama bin Laden as the masterminds. Although strongly countered by numerous investigations, this was the version of events that formed the basis of the war on terror and subsequent American invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq. Section 2. The Conspiracy Theory Emerges Nevertheless, the theories worrying the official story emerged shortly after the attacks had happened. The main consensus behind the 9-11 inside job conspiracy is that the U.S. and other aspects of the Western since namely administration did not simply just allow the attacks to occur without certain scope, but in fact planned these attacks to be executed as an opportunity to carry out military conquests on Middle Eastern countries in an effort to obtain control of their oil along with other such conspiracies that include a bid to stage a terror attack within USA. By the sources cited by advocates of this theory, as well as the discrepancies they provided, make one wonder whether the government really wants people to know the truth. Section 3. Points to consider in the Inside Job Thesis To better understand the alleged facts conspiracy theorists use to support their theories, let us analyze some of these arguments. First, there is the problem of the World Trade Center's fall. Those claiming conspiracy usually point at both tower collapses, and specifically WTC-7, that fell into near freefall despite experiencing no aircraft impact. Some people have suggested the term controlled demolition, probably in view of the fact that the towers and buildings fell symmetrically, as well as the explosions allegedly heard by witnesses before the collapse of the towers. Second, they deny the attack on the Pentagon happened. The critics stated that there are no signs of a Boeing 757 crash at the site of the Pentagon. Due to scarce debris and comparatively small region which was affected, controversy emerged that something other than Flight 77 hit the building. At last, others questioned the readiness of NORAD's reaction. NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, appeared to be incapable of intercepting any of the hijacked planes. But to some, this signified collusion or a stand-down order which facilitated the attacks of September 11th. This research topic focuses on government transparency and accountability issues. Still, all of it has been made worse by the lack of transparency from the U.S. government. It was due to such negligence that the society did not have confidence on the thorough investigations of the attacks on the first instance. The official facts about the events of September 11th were investigated by the so-called 9-11 Commission, which was finally created under pressure of the public that questioned the government's account of the tragedy. However, events like the Patriot Act and wars in Iraq and Afghanistan after 9-11 continue to heighten this sort of skepticism. Many ask, were the attacks a pretext to achieve political or economical goals that had been wished for a long time? Conclusion, tragic terrorism or inside job? Thus, was the destroy of Reduces Towers an inside job or just an act of terrible terrorism? However, most of the proofs are on the side of the official version and numerous specialists debunk various conspiracy theories. Still, these doubts have guaranteed their persistence. In the minds of some people, 
The attack of 9-11 was a disaster resulting from an intelligence leakage together with a despicable act perpetrated by the Al-Qaeda. Some still consider it as enigma shrouded by secret, mistrust, and even with certain degree of skepticism. In the long run, each has to make his or her findings, go for the sources, and recovering both the sides of the story. People still remember September 11th, one of the most significant and tragic events of the modern world. A day that not only changed the American approach to the global society, but also undermined confidence in authorities. The nature of what really happened will continue to be contentious, and perhaps that is what matters most. An American society that will never forget the need for simple things like truth-telling, information accessing, and full disclosure.